at monthly vlogging. So let me know what you guys think, if this is something that you guys would want to see more of. We do kindly have a sponsor for today's video and that is Vuglam. I'm gonna unbox my new frames with you guys. Vuglam are an online eyeglasses shop. They sell standard glasses, sunglasses, prescription glasses, so much more. And their typical slogan is born to be unique. So once you guys see the five glasses that I picked out, <laughs> you will see that they're definitely unique in their own way. As you guys know, I do spend a lot of time in front of computers and screens and that sort of thing. So I wanted to share these with you. Obviously you guys know cost of living crisis, where we can, where we can save ourselves some coins. It's really, really good too. And they have also given me a discount code, which I'm gonna pop up on the screen. I have ordered five pairs of blue light blocking glasses. This is how they come. So they come in their little dust bag that look like this. So the first pair that I have to share with you guys are known as Drayton. And here is a close up of what they look like. I'm gonna try them on for you guys. They have this really lovely tortoiseshell detail on them, which is lovely. And I think you guys know I do love a good cat eye. So here is what the Drayton looks like on. As I said, I'm wearing them in the tortoiseshell color, but looking on the website, they do also have them in red. They also have them in this really nice like yellow. It's almost like a yellowy, goldy, transparent color. Um, and then they also have it in like a classic black. Obviously, depending on your preference, you can go for whichever color suits you best. I think I quite like the cat eye look and I think the cat eye is less, like if you want a little bit more of a demure, like, you know, these are not the demure ones. These are the out there ones. These are the cat eye ones, the tortoiseshell ones. And I personally love it. What I do like about these as well is the fact that the frame is actually on the top. So at the bottom, they're kind of frameless, which I really like. And I think they're quite nice and light and they feel really sturdy. They, I don't know, they kind of almost feel as though I'm not wearing anything. They feel very, very light. So yeah, this is the first pair. And this is the Drayton. As I said, there are three other colorways I'm wearing in the tortoise shell. I'm also just gonna turn around and give you guys a side view so that you guys can see the color of the tortoise shell on the side of the frame. But these are really cute. I love these. What do you guys think? I'm gonna ask you guys to help me to rate them. Here is my second pair of frames and these have an amazing name. <laughs> these are known as the Raquel. They're quite big. They have a nice clear frame. This is like uh, on the website known as Crystal. And then the clear frame is also on the side so it goes all the way around. I'm just gonna try them on for you guys. They feel nice and light, just like the first pair. They feel like they're not gonna get uncomfortable with you wearing them all day long. And I think that's really important because if you're not somebody that remembers to wear glasses, specifically for me, I don't need prescriptive glasses. So I'm not long or short sighted, but I do want to get the blue light blocking situation going because I'm always looking at cameras, phones, computer screens, that sort of thing. And um, so for me, for them to be super light and super comfortable is very, very important. So this is a second frame, my second pair. These are known as the Raquel. I don't want to be biased, but I have a feeling that these could be my favorite glasses <laughs> out of the five. Nice big clear frame, nice clear frame on the side as well. Let me know what you guys think of the Raquel. Okay, so these are my third pair and these are known as the Jun Yin. These are very, very similar to Raquel actually. Let me show you guys the difference. So this is the Raquel. They're just a little bit more rounder and then the Junyin has like a little bit of like a hexagony kind of shape to it. I'm gonna try them on for you guys just so you can see them. These ones like the Raquel ones are clear or crystal as they're calling it. So they're transparent, but once you click on the link in the description box, you will see that they have these in other colors. So there are two other colors and there is a red and a blue. And I think if you're somebody that likes to wear statement glasses or you need like something quirky to zhuzh up an outfit, I think these with the red or the blue frame would be great. If you're somebody that's like a little bit more incognito or you've picked out a few pairs and you want some that are a little bit more sort of, a little bit more like subtle, then these are a great option. I'm just gonna come up close so you guys can see them. I really, really like big frames, I have to say. I just feel like even though they're big, they do still feel quite comfortable, which is great. So yeah, this is the third pair, the Jun Yin. Let me know what you guys think. I'm just gonna come up close, give you a view here and then give you another little side view. Again, it's just clear frame which I just think is really nice. I really like the shape and now I'm like do I prefer these to these ones? I think I prefer these you know. Okay I had to go a little bit extra and kind of get a little bit more of a statement piece. These are known as the Electra and they're quite big and they are quite bold. 
these ones do come in the colorway tortoise and this is the colorway that i'm showing you guys right now but this one has so many other colors i'm gonna pop them on while i just tell you the other colors because they have blue they have a brown they have a white they have a got listen you guys just need to click the link they've got this really lovely kind of like green marble colorway as well but i just thought for me if i want to do something a little bit more statement i still want them to be brown just because i prefer that color that's like one of my favorite colors and um, so this is what the electras look like they're nice big thick frames really nice and thick and also they have a really thick frame on the side this is kind of pinky as well which i like because pink is another one of my favorite colors again these have the blue light blocking lens in them and once you're on the website you can pick like whatever your prescription is or you can do um, blue light blocking or you can just get the frames by themselves so depending on what your preference is you can tweak it and they're still all at really affordable prices but this is the electra what do you guys think i think this is giving very boss babe this is very much okay i'm stepping into the office with my big tote bag which is typically me most days um so yeah these are the electra and i think i don't know i think these ones still have my heart you know I, it's difficult to pick it is difficult to pick but yeah what do you guys think comment let me know so for my fifth and final pair i've gone for a pair of green frames these are known as the badur and the thing is as you guys have seen i've picked pretty safe options pretty simple options so i had to go for something with a little bit more of a zhuzh again a cat eye because a cat eye is just my fave like i love a good cat eye this is what these ones look like on i again like all of the other glasses find them to be quite comfortable even though they're quite a big frame they do feel comfortable they don't feel like they're going to dig in there on the bridge of my nose or behind my ears now these ones do come in other colors also um they have a couple of quarters they have a couple of tortoise shell um, and they're kind of like ombre tortoise shell so once you guys click the link you'll see the other colors but for me i wanted to go ahead and pick out the green because i thought that that would be a little bit different and it add a little zhuzh and as i have five pairs i wanted like a couple of plain a couple of clear um and then a couple with you know some color and some zhuzh to them so let me know what you guys think of the badder like i said these are my fifth and final pair. I'm gonna come up close so that you guys can see the green frame a little bit more. And here's what the side looks like. It's a really thin side to the glasses and they're just easy. Like, who doesn't love a cat eye? I really personally like the cat eye. Um, but yeah, these are my fifth and final pair. Let me know what your favorites were. I wanna say thank you to Vuglam for sponsoring this part of today's vlog. And as I was saying at the beginning, it is a monthly vlog, so it's a little bit bitty. Um, so I'm gonna have to probably like go back to show you guys um, to make it a little bit more in chronological order. And then I realized like I hadn't actually sat down and done an intro to the vlog, so yeah work with me they will get better if i continue to do the monthly vlogs but yeah i just wanted to jump on introduce today's sponsor for the vlog introduce myself and sit down properly um but let's get into the rest of the vlog i have no idea where my jumper is that i literally said i was gonna wear thing where would i have put it i feel like i should have done something more fun Okay, no, we're just going to have to roll with it. <sighs> really, that, I thought that was just one big door. It's two doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To that fridge and freezer, so you don't need to cut anything. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I'm just cleaning up as I talk to you guys, but welcome back to the channel. I'm first brunch. And may as well do a very quick outfit of the day. I, for the first time, worked with a brand called Estee and I got this jumper and as soon as I tried it on yesterday, I was like, this is what I'm gonna wear to brunch. So I'm wearing this jumper from Estee, my redone jeans, which I always wear, and then my Nike, these are Jordan 1s. They need a little clean, but this is the outfit of the day. I'm just gonna carry my Vivian Westwood like shoulder bag thing because I I wore it last night and I actually didn't empty it properly. So I'm like, let me just, let me just carry it today. So I'll see you guys at brunch.
are, mate. What is going on? Okay, back from brunch, it was so lovely and I'm absolutely stuffed. I've literally just filmed a PR unboxing. So if you could see around me right now, it looks wild. There's stuff everywhere. <laughs> I'll insert a clip on the screen. Um, so yeah, make sure you're following me on TikTok because I'm putting different things in different places and I think TikTok is gonna have quite a lot of stuff which is not elsewhere. So make sure you're following me on TikTok. But yes, back from brunch gonna start doing some of the pieces that we need to do in the flat now i've got a little bit of a list i do have a handyman coming next week but obviously some of the things if we can do them ourselves we'll do them ourselves i do think we also need to go to home base today to get the paint and then if we can i kind of want to pop to the tile shop because i've got a connection for the tile shop and i know the tile that i want it's between two colors and originally i was going to go with green but now i think i'm going to go with pink but i do still need to lay my eye on the tile so that i can see it in person just to be doubly sure but i'm 90 percent sure that i'm going to go for that tile because if i've got the connection and i can get like a little discount then i'm going to make sure that i get a little discount well, so i know this vlog is going to be so super random but um and i was going to maybe vlog a little bit earlier today but i'm just popping in because i was gifted some fabletics pieces and i'm not going to do a try and haul but i wanted to share them with you guys there's one set in particular which i absolutely love the look of so i'm going to share i've got four sets i'm just going to quickly show them to you guys now so how cute is this this is giving me i need to go and play tennis or get a tennis coach immediately it's this little sports bra so this is the morgan low impact sports bra and this is in a size small so you have the adjustable straps it doesn't have like a high impact like i said it's a low impact but i'm thinking for tennis this would be perfect i actually really want to take up tennis lessons and um, there's some tennis courts literally not far from me at all so i kind of want to do that this doesn't have any of the removable bra pads so it's just the bra and then hello look at the matching skirts this is the pleated skirt with built-in short built in short i mean it's going to be difficult to see but it's there let me show you that's better how lovely is that oh pocket on the shore it's getting to that weather now so i feel like i want to take up tennis particularly with this outfit then i have another outfit here which is also in keeping with like the spring theme and spring colors so these are the motion 365 leggings and they are the high-waisted ones these are quite light because they have this really lovely purple sorry pink piping down the side which I think is really, really nice. Um, and then of course there's a matching bra, which has a pocket on the back. It's like a racer back fit. It does have the removable pads. I wanna say this is a medium or high impact. Oh no, it's a medium. So this is the on the go medium impact sports bra. I, mean, I don't think I've ever spoken to you guys about the price and that. Obviously when you sign up, you get it cheaper, but 64 pounds is wild, absolutely wild <laughs> for a sports bra. Um, so yeah, this is the matching top. Of course, I had to do like a little leopard thing. Is this the same bra? Yeah, it is. So it's the on the go, medium impact sports bra. It's just this kind of pinky green leopard with the nice black piping. Again, there's a pocket on the back. I don't actually typically tend to use the pockets on the back, but you know, it's getting to be warmer weather. And you know, if you want to be out doing walks and that sort of thing, these are the matching leggings. I think these are, yeah, so these are Motion 365 as well. Six, sorry. 84 pounds i mean i love the quality but listen you don't want to be paying full price you need to be getting the membership benefits but these ones don't have pockets i don't think any of my leggings this time around have any pockets um so that's this set and then last but by no means least kind of a little bit of a classic set fabletics kind of have like what i'd consider to be like evergreen stock um, and this would be a very evergreen outfit. So you've got the power hold in navy. Um, there's no tag on that. But yeah, they, these are the power hold in navy. I think they are, you can get them in different lengths. These ones I think are three quarter or seven eighths. But yeah, power hold is exactly that, power hold. And then they have paired it with the Fabra, which is a high impact sports bra. Um, it just has this mesh over the top and then a nice little underneath and then the thing that's quite nice about the fay is all of the crisscross detailing 
at the back so yeah i thought i'd just share these pieces with you as i said this vlog is going to be apparently so bitty but i just thought i'd just do a quick a little unboxing obviously you guys have seen me do a gazillion try on hauls with fabletics but i still wanted to like share pieces with you guys also actually let me just show you these mugs that i just picked up this is what i'm saying this is going to be the most bitty vlog ever so went to Battersea power station i've actually never been it's my first time i did stop off at Superdrug on the way home i think the line's pretty poor but i picked up this dove thing this was half price uh three pounds i've had the the red pinky one which i think is like a pomegranate this one smells amazing it's the crushed macadamia and rice milk scent and it honestly smells so so good so i picked that up because i'm running low on shower gel um i also picked up this radox which is a special edition sweet summer nights it's blended with vanilla and shea butter and as soon as i heard vanilla and shea butter i was like yes i didn't even smell it also it was half half price it smells amazing but the star of the show is and excuse the lighting the angle the whole thing but <laughs> this has just turned into a very impromptu unboxing went into zara home because uh well i stumbled across it to be honest or stumbled upon it oh my goodness how pretty are these mugs so zara home and guess the price i wish you guys could tell me but it's 4.99 which i think is a really great price i really don't need many more like glasses and things like this for the kitchen but uh here we are <laughs> <laughs> buying things that we don't need um so yeah i think this is a gorgeous mug really nice gonna have my coffee in here it's quite a large mug gonna have my mint tea in here i mean the thing with the mugs and things like that is that typically i really love my double walled mugs and cups because they're just most practical for me i make a herbal tea typically a mint tea and then i like pot her around i do a bit of cleaning i do a bit of this i do a bit of that um so yeah, I like my double water glasses. However, this for my coffee, I will make an exception. Um, but yeah, that's it for my random impromptu unboxing. As you can probably tell, there's things about the flat that need some attention. So <laughs> I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so I'm on my way to a PLT event. I was thinking, what do I have that's PLT in my wardrobe? Because a lot of my PLT stuff is summer stuff. So it's like packed under the bed. Also, excuse all the mess, but this is real life. I'm literally running out. So... I opened up my wardrobe and I was like, yes, I have this dress. I had this dress for about four or five years and I love it so, so much. And I love the fact that I'm able to pull it back out and wear it. So anyway, yeah, I'm off to the PLT event now. They're opening a new showroom in London. I think they previously had one um, like Carnaby Streetway, but this is a new one. So I'm really excited to see it. And hopefully I'll get to be able to show you some of the new PLT bits that are coming out. But this is the outfit, PLT, Zara. I'm going to carry this little bag needs to throw some hand cream in here and get on my way looking in here do you know what's funny all the people on your um vlog before they had no idea who i was i was just sammy used to come for brunch <laughs> and now, now they know who do i am something i think somebody did notice though what i I'm think someone did notice guys do you remember when i used to do brunch babes and we will pick brunch babes back up and brunch babes will be back with a vengeance right yes um but Sammy is one of the honorary brunch babes that came to brunch. Uh, what, I think Religiously. I only, yeah, I think I only vlogged like two of them because typically mm. the thing with when I go out with Sammy and our other friend, um, it's not a vlogging affair because we get quite drunk. Um, yeah. But we've, refi we've refined our ways. Yeah, we have. We've, we've, we've refined we've our, to refine ways. our ways. <laughs> so, yeah, because I think. I think George got a bit like fed up of picking us up. No, he, yeah. I think he was very used to it, to be fair. But um, yeah, I'm with Sammy. We're on our way to the PLT event. But yeah, Ooh. Sammy has made an appearance in my vlogs before. Yes. A brief appearance. But I'm t do you know what? I'm also quite funny about putting my friends online. I know, I know. And you used to always ask as well. Yeah. So like, are you sure you want to be vlogged? I'm like, yes, yeah. get me in it, get me in it. Exactly. But now, at this point, Sammy's been on TV for about <laughs> two months, every day straight. So you know exactly who she is. So, and you're uh, used to the camera. Oh, yeah. Kind this is, of. Like, yeah. the camera in your face now. Yeah. Kind of. I'm used to being like filmed whilst I'm being lived basically whilst I'm living being filmed but right talking this whole talking to the camera thing is still new for me 
which I think you'll pick up quite quickly. Sammy's channel's up and underway, by the way, so if you guys want to check it out, I'm sure you guys would have seen it by now, but if you haven't, I'll definitely link it. She's got quite a few videos on there. Um, get to know me tags, vlogs. Yeah. You've got... Juicy Love Island Q&A coming. Yeah, she's got quite a lot up on there. Um, so yeah, definitely check it out. But we're on our way to the PLT event. I'm going to stop rambling and we'll show you around the showroom and show you what's, what's popping, what's in there. What's popping. And... Um, Controversially, it's probably like two doors down from the booth. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. <laughs> middle part which I'm still trying to get used to but here we are I'm wearing this outfit which I've probably worn about three times already this suit is from H&M the skirt and the matching blazer I'm wearing the blazer in an 8 and then the skirt I got in an 8 and a 10 and I decided to keep the 10 even though the 10 is a little bit too big but it offered me way more um length because it is a mini skirt and then this is an old top from Zara which I really really like and I it's been in my wardrobe and I haven't worn it since I had it <laughs> and then all of a sudden I've been wearing it a lot with this. It is definitely quite cropped but anyway I'm going to take you guys along. I don't think I've got space for my tripod in my bag unfortunately so if it gets a little janky from here I apologise. Also I'm going to add my lips and my earrings to my final look once I'm in the cab. Um, so let's get going. <laughs> past 12 and I want to leave at quarter past 12. <laughs> I want to leave in two minutes but I have set myself enough time so that even if I leave at quarter past I will still be early. I've just filmed a full face of Rare Beauty so I just powdered because I didn't have any powder from them. I definitely want to try out some of their powder but their products are hang on a minute where is my something fishy's going on 
I'd lost my highlight. Like some of my makeup stuff is like, I think it's in handbags, but anyway, um, <laughs> I digress. Yeah, I just wanna add my highlight because I didn't also pick out any highlight and I do feel a little naked without highlight. So just wanted to add my favorite highlight. I'm gonna quickly get dressed and I'll show you my outfit of the day. You guys did already see me making my juice. I don't know what happened here. I was just saying it in the TikTok, but listen, I cannot taste the Granny Smith in this at all. And Granny Smith, you know, it's quite tart, like it's sharp. And usually if I'm having a green juice, because I don't really like celery or anything like that. Like I hate the taste of celery. Um, like I need other stuff to overpower it. Even though in my opinion, nothing really overpowers the celery apart from the ginger. But the ginger in this today is absolutely blowing my head off. So... set from H&M it's actually part of the divided range and it's a blazer and skirt combo even though it's also ignore all this even though it's April it's bloody freezing today so I'm wearing my Zara boots of course I'm carrying my favorite little Prada bucket bag and I'm just wearing a plain long top from Shein underneath if I've got like a jazzy outfit I feel like if you've got like Shein basics underneath just to keep you warm it does what it needs to do but i'm gonna hit the road i don't know if i've said i'm going to meet jade we're going for lunch we were going to go for breakfast but she had to run her dog to the vet um so we pushed it to lunch and um <laughs> i'm out of breath because that ginger is hotting up my mouth anyway i'll see you guys when i get there lunch and then we decided to cop to Oxford Circus because it was literally like one stop away and um, so we did that we just popped to Zara picked up a little bit in a bob I'm actually vlogging without my screen at the minute so I can't <laughs> we're double vlogging this is the men's you want to look um, <laughs> so I went to Zara and then now we're in flannels quickly and um, yeah just gonna head home before it gets to rush hour because <laughs> it will be a madness so yeah we're vlogging once again <laughs> we are met Jade what did you what would you rate the the lunch well we only had a Caesar salad so I it really was liked good. it, it was nice. and the wine was good the wine was lovely yeah I think I could be the girl that drinks <laughs> wine now on the rare occasion. It's warm now. <laughs> yeah. So One anyway. Glass and then you're good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. I'm going home. I'm tired now. I'm Are you? I am. Yeah. In one day. Yeah. No, I hear you. My house. So <laughs> on a Monday as well. Good evening. Happy Tuesday. I didn't get a chance to vlog with you guys much earlier on today, but I went to the studio and I shot. A couple of videos i'm just experimenting a little bit and my friend has a studio i'm pretty sure you guys have seen my friend sheree on the channel um but i'll link her studio down in the description box but it's a really lovely studio so i went there earlier um i'm going to meet my other friend Catherine now she's invited me to a shake shack event <laughs> hence the non-fashion <laughs> blogger outfit but um i've been having technical difficulties all day even right now i'm just looking over at my laptop my laptop is on some banduli business yeah i don't know what is going on but like this camera is low in battery um the memory card is almost full my phone has about thirty-one thousand. <laughs> oh shit my friend just called me i'm gonna leave i'm gonna leave right now and i'll catch up with you guys in a sec i'll sh i'll see you guys at the shake shack event <laughs> Thank you. 
guys I'm just popping in here to end the vlog because I realized that it got really bitty in parts and I'm really sorry I'm literally halfway through editing it and towards the end I'm going to apologize because I kept on meaning to sit down and chat with you guys like um the day that I went to the Shake Shack event I wanted to sit down and chat to you guys because that day I'd also gone for my smear test in the morning and I know there's someone sitting there watching this vlog being like oh I got the letter about my smear test like honestly you guys you have to book it I'm going to be honest with you I put my off I think mine was three weeks three weeks three years um overdue and that's just not okay like I know we live in a fast-paced world and we all have loads of things going on but honestly like your health should always be your number one concern so if you're sitting there and you need to book your smear please just go and get it booked in um it's really it's not that bad <laughs> it's really fine um they've seen loads of pussies like it's really not that deep just go book it get it done um and also, I think, also I was going to sit down and chat to you guys that day because I was having technical difficulties and I feel like, as a content creator, no one really speaks about that. Like, I have 31,000 flipping images on my phone, so I'm, like, trying to back them all up and move stuff around, so it was a little bit stressful that day, but I'm kind of, yeah, I'm kind of, I don't know, my phone is 128 gigs and it's at, like, 125, so... <laughs> But yeah, that is it from me. I look a little bit of a mess. I've literally just um, come back from a walk as well. So I'm going to get on and finish editing this vlog. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I think next month I might try like a weekly vlog as opposed to a monthly vlog. Um, but as always, let me know what you guys want to see on the channel. Obviously, I've been doing YouTube for five years now. Um, I think in September this will be my sixth year yeah it will be so yeah I feel like I definitely want to change it up a little bit I've noticed that the fashion hauls don't do as well as they usually do so I don't know if I want to do mainly vlogs or do vlogs and incorporate fashion or maybe just start to do like collective hauls so I'm not buying like a huge amount from certain stores I'm just picking up you know cherry picking the best from you know an array of different places so yeah as always please comment let me know what kind of content you guys want to see um but yeah that's it from me don't forget to follow my instagram my tiktok um and yeah i'll see you guys very very soon and of course shout out to the sponsor as well i'll have all of the links to vuglam in the description box ciao